Hello and welcome back to another mini let's play. This is gameplay footage of the freshly released game Dragon Dogma. My name is Heiken and today we're together going to explore this beautiful new release uh, Dragon Dogma 2 to be precise. Capcom has just released it uh, this very day. So uh, let's uh, dive into the world of Dragon's Dogma and we are going to be up for quite a ride. I'm excited about the game, so let's give it a shot. On a guess, lend me your ears. Long as our Fevremon suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal fealty. No Your Majesty, of how long I have awaited this moment. Behold, before you sits the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the Dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present Pledge your allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate.
Very well, so let's dive into this adventure. This is going to be character creation. Before we jump into it though, a word uh, from the sponsor. Games Planet kindly gave me a copy of uh, this in order to review it. Uh, we'll get a fair review of it of course, but we're also going to enjoy ourselves. If you want a copy as well, they do have uh, deep discounts on games, so you might want to check it out. I'll leave a link uh, down below. Uh, for full transparency, uh -huh. it's an affiliate um, link, you. so I get a small commission, but the game is not more expensive for you. Anyways, uh, that aside, let's think about what kind of character do we want to play. Male? Female? Um, or do we want to play kind of uh, the cat race? Hmm. Given that we do have a cat race available, I think we're going with cat race today. <coughs> and... Um, do we play someone a little bit smaller or do we play the huge guy? Hmm. I like the idea of a huge character. Cool. What type of cat do we want to be? Um, that looks like an absolute fantastic character. And look at the presets that they are giving you so that you can really f uh, find out what you want and there is deep character customization i already like that a lot so we could go and play a little bit with the fur and the different aspects of it that's not bad they do have a shader underneath it ah the games have come a long way since skyrim which i think was one of the first ones that really uh, delved into the absolute detailed character customization no we're going to be kind of uh, darkened but you want some highlights elsewise the dark doesn't oh that's just the scar here no that's okay that's the chest yeah something along those lines oh that's not bad either Okay, a little bit uh, less. I think we're good. Yeah. No, no. I just had a good color scheme. Very good. So... Um, we're a little bit muscular, a little bit more muscular, muscle strength, and that's 2 meters 15, that's interesting. Yeah, let's go with a big, char uh, with a big character, because why not, uh, fits the bill. Okay, cool, good, I think that's good enough uh, for now. Uh, we are oh we can go into detailed customization so uh, first off what uh, class are we going to be uh, fighters battle the enemies in close quarter I've seen that in the trailer demo it's definitely a kind of the tank of the team then you do have the archers uh, ranged DPS I would say I know that fighters also could be barbarians because I've seen a real fighter like uh, fully armored and I've seen a bavarian or berserker in the uh, in the core gameplay. Then thieves are just that uh, massive melee DPS and mages um, are a little bit more buff characters as far as the uh, initial gameplay has shown. Hmm, I'm. I like the idea of kind of a melee frontline to show you some action, but I also like the idea of just testing out how less played characters would uh, work. So I'm swaying between mage and archer just to see <clears throat> if I would like it. Hmm. You know what? We could be an archer, but we could also be a mage. Let's try to be a mage. Um, Ugh! <laughs> 
Oh, that is more like it. Fantastic. So, name. Do we find Hogbite under H? No, but Hogbite wouldn't be a mage. Um, it's interesting. You can't take your own uh, name. But maybe we find something with, uh, with an X. Xerxes, that's a cool name. Take the average age of my viewer group, which is around... To be fair, 25 to 35. And we're going to finalize the character. Let's go, boys. Edgar's, of course. I ill like that look in your eyes. It is queerly brazen for a pawn. I'm a mage as well. Most what are you talking about? Eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. Oh, he's a charming person. Absolutely. Got any arms for a man down on his luck? I like it how we're, like overshadowing just from the size of our character everybody we're towering over them and it's also funny to play kind of a huge statued mage everybody would take us for a warrior and then you just come up uh, as the mage <laughs> okay very good let's find out what is going on in this excavation site shall we Good. As always, this is going to be a mini playthrough, guys. So we're going to give it, let's say, two to three episodes to see how the game is performing, what's good, what's not good. Just get a feel for it. If you, you like what you're seeing, pray. This is no place for one of your ilk. It is harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Good. What I was about to say is we're going to give it two to three episodes. If you really like the content, then here is the chance for you to let me know about it. And uh, if more or the majority of you like Dragon's Dogma 2, then we're going to give it a full playthrough. Time for you to get to work. All right. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Cool. We can do that. Nice. We got a nice little lantern. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap. Our order. Wow, if he can carry that stone, he must be benching 500 kilos, at least. Job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Oh, we certainly are. Let's go, boys. Um, I think this is combat introduction.
I like how small the staff looks in his hands. Okay, one on one. Okay, all we need to do is stand here and I can give it like that. that. Should the battle turn dire, keep in mind that you do have the Oh, we can heal, nice. That is not bad. Barrels and the like can make effective weapons with a clever combatant. But that's cool. Can't really see much of our health, but I think we're okay, uh, doing okay down there. Oh yeah, we're dealing a lot of damage. <clears throat> Just look at the damage that uh, these other pawns are dealing all together. But let me put it this way, the mage gameplay isn't necessarily as action-driven. So for first obs uh, observation... Are you on hand? First observation... You do have three spells. I'll talk after the cutscene. We cannot linger in this place forever. You have lost your memories. It is surely the work of a foul curse, but worry not. You need only believe in your own destiny, Marissa. Survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Don't just stand there. Shoot it down. Right, I like the en entrance. Uh, that was a good and quick tutorial. The game plays very much um, like a console title. It even on the PC version offers you controller support or almost recommends controller support, which is fine. My point uh, with it is um, the mage gameplay so far in the fight hasn't been entirely exciting because you don't have any specific um, areas that you can aim for. It feels very console-y.
to give a to give a better example if you have played world of warcraft and you're playing kind of a mage or ranged character there movement hitboxes and so on play a very important role this is incredibly different it is as if movement wouldn't wouldn't have been relevant at all Well, so much for our hippogriffin, right? Good, let's make sure we're not casting judgment too early. The game has just begun. Griffin appears one moment and falls the next, and now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? Tis a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. All right, I'll do exactly that. going I'll not force you to receive treatment but I'd at least like a word yeah then run faster dude fine goblins let's take up your weapon sir you'll be needing it if you find your strength black you buy the curative or have a bit of green one when one of the fiends comes in, okay so those little missiles are good for yeah individual damage but I think this here is still the better choice give you an advantage against their ranks why is the fire going everywhere but not onto that creature attacks are more destructive but will leave you vulnerable so seize your chance to land one the moment the enemy flinches. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at them. Good, we Where got some bee skin. You can't... Why can't we just take a look here, dude? Chill out. All right. I can see the game wants uh, uh, wants us uh, to follow the trail, and of course, there are more monsters. Good, so 
Our ongoing attack definitely deals more damage. Oops, what? Sorry, didn't want to pick you up. <laughs> okay, that is funny. I've seen it in the uh, playtest that you can actually pick up um, fallen allies and then heal them. What we cannot really do is avoid attacks. It feels it feels very static to the point where uh, if an enemy walks up to you, it's just they hit you, you hit them. It's not a real, uh, not not really like uh, a movement Welcome, based Elizabeth. game. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? Pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a Riftstone. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Earth into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. We're creating a new pawn. Um, <clears throat> so we need a frontline character. Let's take a dwarf of sorts. That would be interesting. I don't want to make uh, ridic ridicule the game, but um, maybe a short, a little bit more bulky person. I like that. All right, upper body. Uh, we're going to go with a little bit more shoulder width, exactly. Okay, now he... Now he looks deformed. Uh, torso width. The legs are way too small for him. Arm length is fine. Okay. Thicker forearms. Okay, I think we're just resetting it to default and making it a little bit wider. It's everything. You want to do it in moderation. Now nah, the arm length is actually fine. But he could have hit the gym a little bit harder. Good. Lower body. Don't forget leg day is what they say. And that also holds for our dwarf. Well, he maybe has done a little bit too much leg day. Okay, can we give him a little bit of chest muscles? No way. This is all you got? Alright, he's not going to be an Arnold, uh, that is for sure. Happy with the changes, very good. So, he's going to be our Dwarf-ish frontliner. Uh, besides Xerxes, uh, let's make him the fighter. I like that idea. Uh, 
uh, tackling fears, false, new, simple, curious, earnest, upon, enjoys exploring and gathering item, always up for a challenge. Favors a balanced approach. Um, uh, I like him to be straightforward, uh, but wait a second. Maybe we're going to make him more the calm, defensive type. Seems good. And since we are called Xerxes, then he is called. I like Yoko actually, that's a nice name for a warrior. Xerxes in Yoko. Horns are oft called nomads, for we wander between this world and the many other realms with which we are connected. Okay. I am no exception, and my experiences in these other worlds will doubtless be of aid to you on your adventure. Tis my privilege to accompany you as your loyal pawn, and I will gladly use the knowledge I gain to guide you. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the cap. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do. I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. All right, can we... What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Mel, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Alright, we're in the Border Watch outpost. I hope I can summon more pawns so that we can get a full party of four going. Rift Zone. By touching a Rift Zone, the Arisen can travel um, between the world, which is great, uh, which a great many pawns traverse the journey begin in the Rift. This allows the Arisen to summon pawns who meet specific prerequisites. The pawns will not level up while they are accompanying you, however, so you may find the need to hire new support pawns on regular intervals. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if it is within my power to do so. Uh, tell me Nomads, about the pawns. We are oft called. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. Okay. Very well. Oh, look at you. Lots and lots and lots. We got a main pawn. And these are pawns created by other players, which is cool. I like that. Um, I need a rogue, so... I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Okay, well, that sounds good. Higher. It will be an honor to serve by your side. Pawn quests are tasks given to your main pawn to be completed beyond the rift. You set the task and must stipulate the reward for the Arisen. Um, when setting a reward for the Arisen, who hires your main pawn, you receive either a specific item or a sum of gold. Okay. And how do we do pawn quests? Quests, Tales Beginning, okay, got you.
Good. I don't want to hire a level 9 uh, archer. <laughs> we need an archer still. Level 2, level 9. There you go. Tonya. Should you wish to pick your foes off from afar, you need look no further than an archer such as I. All right, hire. It will be an honor to serve by your side. Set a pawn quest. Travel together for a day and night. What can I? Okay, well then. Search for pawn. I see. Okay, so. Apparently the uh, whole pawn searching doesn't yet work that uh, freely, but that's okay. We got a couple of preset uh, pawns, which is fine by me. This is going to be our party. Um, it is a bit of a shame. That main pawn here is called main pawn. Home with the rhythms of life. Where ought we to go now? Okay, well, you were called Yao, and I will continue to call you Yao and not just main pawn because that sounds stupid. Uh, we got Tonya uh, at the archery and Cindy at uh, the daggers. I originally wanted kind of a mixed uh, party, and that nicely turns out. The only thing that we haven't gotten is a female, um, female cat lady, but that's okay. At some point, we might a get a Shall we see cat if we lady. can't make our way over to it? Hoi there. You seem well tired. My pa always used to say, I, being armed is better. You should stop by the inn. In Melv, if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. I. Being armed is you should stop by the inn and yeah I got that I would really no. like to actually buy stuff because we are not looking very good at the moment Alright, so what do we have? This here looks a bit like a shop. What are you up to? Well, Matt. I would like to buy a couple of things. So we do have 200 gold pieces. And let's start with armor, shall we? Seven hundred eighty gold pieces for a normal rope that is barely improving our defenses. Um yes. Well, I guess we're going to do without it. I could buy a Wanderer's Hood, but that would let me look just even more stupid than um, I currently look. The prices are steep, man. Do we have something to sell? A couple of apples. Crafting materials. Okay. I find it interesting you can um, you can see the load of every single pawn that's not bad okay well Always apparently it's not going uh, we're not going to get anything here which is okay no purchases to be made today I see I just hope the shopkeep understands gold is a result. Good. Items. Um, what can I do with that? Can I hot button it? No. Let's 
See, that would be nice to kind of have a little bit of a hot button. Or's best spent judiciously. Good, what else can we do here? Beg pardon, but I've work needs doing. If you see all untoward, pray inform me. Okay, what's our job now? We're a little bit stuck here. Quests. Tales beginning. Make for Melf. You've heard that the uh, that the world uh, that the dragon has attacked Melf. Uh, go to the village. Okay, we're currently up here. And I'm sure we need to go further to the south. Cool. Off we go, pawns. Let's go. It feels a bit strange that Going you can. Out, are you? You sure that's a good idea? You seem rough. You ought at least rest for the evening. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take okay. Well, the game wants us to rest. I'm sure there is another. Hmm. Hi there. There's I another cutscene coming in. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. We must rest, though the sun is. One or more add-ons uh, acquired. Well, that is because we do have the main the version. To new heights. One can but strive to improve. Is there something like character level up? Um, status view your current status okay cool that do we have character customization element none elemental resistance none okay we do have no major status why does why is he called main pawn that is so So anticlimactic. Anyway, Cindy. Okay, all of the pawns, without an exception, have more hit points uh, than than I do. And it seems there is no more character customization at the moment. <clears throat> I do have just the most basic of equipments. Well, let's make haste to the south then. Hey, oh, you a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Accardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? Bard can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far. Only a sure. short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. Anacardos. Good. You select quests. Prioritize those amongst you, the ones that you have accepted. A warning regarding quest progression. Some quests are affected by the passage of time. You will progress even without the Arisen's involvement. No life may be lost on our account. Okay, quests. Aid Accardo. Good, that's pretty much on the way. The easiest possible quest. Out of the way, fools. Okay, we're coming in and randomly someone is just 
dislodging his sword into into Let a small creature. <clears throat> Who are you? I pray my efforts aid your cause. Well, cool. Uh, you're fine, my f uh, friend, but no bueno. Good, we can instruct pawns, wait uh, pawns to remain where they are until they are given a different command during combat, uh, indirect uh, direct pawns cease attacking, attacking. Okay, cool. Help uh, prioritize this healing. So soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. You must not let down. Pawns make it so simple. Also, aimbot, right? So. You're offering your aid. Is that all of them? You, you have my thanks. I do not believe from. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I. I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope. Making our report ought to be our next priority. Listen, I mean. The combat looks stylish, but I could just sit bed, uh, back and let the pawns like do the entire job. There is absolutely not much that uh, I need to do. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. And so far, it's one of the worst uh, mage gameplay experiences. From a combat perspective, that I have had, we have two Hold spells. I will be with you in but a moment. No one can defend themselves when struggling. Like yeah, you you can just <laughs> dash it up. And we're gaining level 3 without even... They, they are carrying us hard. Now, when I say some of the worst um, mage gameplay experiences, it just doesn't matter what you do. Like, there is... Uh, I In some games, I can clearly see the difference between you being experienced and good and having uh, good movement and that not being the case. And here... It we seems to be that there isn't a high skill ceiling. You're just mashing the button. I see it as a glad thing. And we are well to that's it. Each other's strengths. But we're going to give it a bit more of a try. It's not that the game is bad or anything. It uh, plays very fluently. Just the gameplay as a mage, um, I think that needs revisit uh, revisiting can I take a pick also who came up with that spell like what exactly is that spell supposed to do so I'm charging it up okay It's an interesting way of making a heavy attack. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. <laughs> oh, 
All right. We have a couple of nice little undeads here. No. But you can gather apparently a lot of uh, the um, alchemical uh, resources, which is fine. I, I don't mind that. A lot of games have <coughs> kind of a collection mechanism, and I think it was a smart uh, decision to allow your companions uh, to also gather some of the resources. That's not bad. Melv, a stronghold, a raise by dragon's fire. <coughs> I think we're going to explore that. We're coming up on the hour, and then we're uh, closing session one. So, this is Melv. The scars left by the dragon's assault are pla- Who are you? Okay. Well met. We could buy a lot of uh, things here. But I think instead uh, we should just sell. And most of it is crafting resources, so we don't we don't even have anything to sell. Hope to see you again. Random merchant, uh, conveniently placed in a complete burned down uh, place. I wonder what these voices are. It's the same thing as in the interlude, right? <coughs> the Arisen continuously hears those that voices. Is most unfortunate. But it does not release thee from thy fate. Alright, this time apparently warrior gameplay. <coughs> Can we heal ourselves? No. All I can do is defend. Can't, can't even. Okay, he has, uh, he has nicely positioned himself in the middle there. Alright, take that, you foul beast. No damage, cool. Let me start. Gre Let me start getting up there. All right. The idea of climbing on top of enemies is good. I like it. The implementation difficult. <clears throat> All right. Finally, here we come. Haha, <laughs> take that.
That explains the scar. Interesting. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Interesting. time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. It was terrible. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. But you hung on and by some miracle survived. Arisen, I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you have no memory of this either. I am of the Border Watch. Someone with Arisen-like abilities came to this village all in tow. Know you all of this? Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Everson. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. We may benefit from pursuing the Fantastic. I think that is where we are calling it for the first episode. Lots happened. We're the Arisen. We got our pawns. We found out how fighting uh, works so far. And maybe there is more to it. I will investigate and try to find out how uh, we can improve the fighting experience. Because the rest of the game so far is rock solid. Really good graphic. Really good sounds. I absolutely adore it. Um, so... Uh, without further ado, uh, let's uh, call it here. If you enjoy Dragon's Dogma, then leave a comment and a like down below. 
And don't forget uh, to dragon breath on that like button. It is needed nowadays. And have a good one. Take care. Until then, bye-bye.